Phase one was to pump heavyweight drilling mud down the well bore in a, an attempt to overcome the flowing pressure. Uh, that met with partial success. The mud we pump is uh, non-toxic, uh, mixed with water, and much of the volume you've seen coming out of the well in the last 36 hours is mud. Phase two of that, of the program, was to pump lost control material into the blowout preventer at various levels to attempt to create a bridge against which we could pump more mud. That's we the golf the, balls, the tires, the junk shot? That, that's a combination of uh, various materials of various sizes to attempt to create a bridging material. And indeed, some, it is the, uh, the non-technical term for it is junk, the junk shot. We were doing that uh, from uh, the middle of yesterday afternoon. Uh, that part of the operation finished in the early hours of this morning. And we will go back to pumping mud later in the day. So the operation's continuing. Uh, it's going pretty well according to plan. As everyone appreciates, this has never been done in 5,000 feet of seawater. So we've proven the technology and we are learning about how to optimize the technology and we're learning about the condition of the well and what it's going to take to kill the well. You say so, it's going pretty much according to plan. When will we know for sure if it's working and when would you expect that the leak would be plugged? I think it's um, probably at least another 48 hours away before we could have confidence that we've succeeded. Uh, we've said all along that we rated this at 60 to 70 percent. That has not changed. You know, over the course of this crisis, we're learning a lot more about BP's record. Our own Pierre Thomas reported last night that the Occupational Safety and Health Administration records showed that in the last three years, BP ran up 760 egregious willful safety violations at their U.S. refineries. This dwarfed uh, violations from other oil companies. Sunoco and ConocoPhillips had eight each. Citco had two. Exxon had one. How do you explain such a horrendous safety record? Since I've been in this job, which is now three years, I've been focused absolutely on safe and reliable operations. M much of that record relates to a prior period. Uh, and our absolute focus for the last three or four years has been on safe and reliable operations. We have made very significant changes in the company, in the organization, in the processes we use, uh, and in the culture of the company to affect that change. But just last, uh, last October, OSHA fined the company $87 million, the largest fine in history, because it had failed to correct safety problems at the same Texas City plant where you had a disaster in 2005. Uh, as I said, we've been working resolutely to improve the safety performance of the company over the last three to four years. Are you satisfied with where you are? I think you can never be satisfied in the matter of safety. There is always more to do. Okay, Mr. Hayward, thanks very much for your time this morning. Thank you.